lungs, which is the oxygenated blood, in order, in order to make space for deoxygenated blood to get in. And so this diaphragm is an umbrella-shaped muscle that pushes up against the bottom of the lungs. Now, it also gets the liver, the spleen, the stomach, and the pancreas. So this diaphragm, when you breathe out, literally massages stomach, pancreas, spleen, and the liver. So we need the diaphragm, but yet we don't know how to promote the diaphragm. Now, if you're a singer or an athlete, of course, you were tra taught and trained how to use your diaphragm. But when you're not singing or you're not doing your sport, you revert back to ordinary human ways. Mm, not good in the long run. So what we do is something called breath of fire. So we breathe out forcefully 60 times. So that's 60 times your diaphragm is pushing up against the bottom of your lungs. Now, if we did that for three days in a row, then the fourth day we went to 120 times. And then the seventh day we went to 180 times. And so we keep adding 60 breaths every three days. So at the end of 30 days, we would be up to 600 breaths. Now, you only have to do that once a week. So once you get to 300, you only have to do that once a week. That, just that one little thing, is gonna make a huge difference. It's gonna make a huge difference in your life. Now, we know that the liver's on the right side. We know the spleen's on the left side. So if you put your fingers on that last rib and you push in, you can literally touch your liver. Now, I'm going in at least two, three inches on my liver side. There's no pain or discomfort. Well, same thing on the spleen side. I'm going in two, three inches. There's no pain or discomfort. However, most people, if they push in a half inch under either rib, there's pain. So that means there's stagnation. So we have to get rid of that. And that's why I say the spleen rules the flesh and the fat. Now, if you overconsume food, even the best food, even if you were doing raw salads with sprouts and roasted beets and what have you, even if you were eating the best food, if you were eating more than your body required, then your body would start to accumulate toxic, environment and then that toxicity would cause us to swell up and our face our neck would swell and our face would would swell now there's proteins carbohydrates and fats okay so if you overconsume food what does the liver do it converts it to fat and where does it store the fat you already know where it stores the fat okay. The belly fat, the butt, the thighs, thighs. Oh, the chin, <laughs> oh God. Yeah. Now, the brain is 50% fat. So once the liver has absorbed all the fat it can and displaced all the fat to the regular places, then fat goes to the brain and fat and toxins bind together. So we have to burn the fat to release the toxins and we have to drink water to flush the toxins out. Okay, is everybody following me so far? Yes. Okay, so the issue for you is how do I burn more fat? 
how do I not accumulate the excess flesh? Well, here's the first exercise we're going to learn. You're going to breathe out, you're going to go up on your toes. You're going to bring your hands into prayer position. You're going to bend your knees. And now you're going to go up the right side of your face. You're on your toes. And now you're going to come down, lower your heel on the left side of your face. Okay, I'm going to get a little closer over here. They won't be able to see your feet, but that's okay. Now, I'm going to bend my knees, and my knees are going to go this way, because my hands are on the right side, and so, okay, now I'm going to turn my hands over, and I'm going to swing out, and then I'm going to turn my hands over, and I'm going to swing out. And now, whichever way my hands go, my knees are going the opposite direction. Now I'm going to bend my knees and I'm going to go in front of the knee. Then I'm going to turn my hands over, I'm going to go in front of the knee. And then I'm going to turn my hands over. And I'm going to turn my hands over again. And now my hands are on the left side of my face. So now I'm going to go up on my toes, I'm going to go around, and I'm going to come down on the right side of my face, then I'm going to make a heart, and I'm going to breathe out. I'm going to breathe out, I'm going to tighten the abdominals, I'm going to go down to my pelvis, and now I'm going to breathe in. And now I'm going to bend my knees, I'm going to breathe out. Now I'm going to go up the left side of the face. I'm going to go up on my toes, go around the left side of the face. And now I'm going to come down, and my hands are on the left side, my knees are on the right. So as my hands go under, my knees go to the opposite side. And then I'm going to turn my hands over. For a three-day trial to Sunrise